Over the past 25 years, director Sam Tyler's public television films have educated viewers about how 3M stumbled onto the post-it note, why Quicken came to be, and what Coca-Cola did to recover from the new Coke fiasco. Now an inspiring new documentary profiles organizations that have successfully weathered the recession and offers a framework to help others achieve similar success. Among the 10 stories and case studies are Baptist Healthcare, Stu Leonard's Dairy, the Santa Barbara Zoo, and GE's Eco-Imagination Initiative, which generates almost $20 billion in annual sales from its platform of sustainability products. The film also reveals rare footage of Steve Jobs at age 28, including this moment when he exhorts his team. We are going to make it or break it based on whether we can provide products to higher education and services and relationships to higher education that no one else provides. And I think we ought to spend 100% of our time thinking about that. And if we can't do that, then we ought to go broke. Author Andrew Winston makes the case that every company must insert sustainability into its competitive strategy. A lot of companies are concerned that going green raises costs. That's sort of the common misperception, but it actually lowers costs. And the leading companies have figured this out, and they're accelerating their green efforts. It reduces costs, which preserves capital, saves money to help us survive this downturn. But then you can use that money to reinvest in your people and in innovation. Winston's viewpoint is shown to be a winning strategy at Tenant Company, which discovered how to eliminate chemicals from its floor cleaners, literally innovating its way into thousands of new sales during the recession by catching the green wave. CEO Chris Killingstead explains how it happened. The first thing I did was I went to our annual trade show, and I was horrified by the fact that there were at least 70 other companies, 70, who made products that looked exactly like ours and did exactly the same thing. I did not come to Tenant for a mundane experience. I came to transform the company. At that point, I said, uh, you know, uh, the vision all around helping to create a cleaner, cleaner and safer world, that's really compelling. And I also felt that sustainability was an emerging trend that maybe for the first time was here to stay and had the potential to become a megatrend.